Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well in our last video we installed a plugin so we could back up our site. Another little handy plugin I'm going to demonstrate today is a caching plugin and what that does is that saves in memory sort of some snapshots of your site so when people come back to it a second time it'll load it an awful lot quicker. So let's go ahead. This plugin is absolutely free too. I'm going to go to our dashboard, down to the plugins. I'm going to hit add new. And I'm going to type in WP fastest cache, C A C H E. And there it is right there, and it's absolutely free. We've got over 3,000 installs with five star. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the install now button. And no, this isn't strictly a Divi video right here. This is just to optimize your site a little bit after we built it with the Divi theme here. Now go ahead and activate it. And here it is right here and there's not a lot you have to do you can tweak the settings if you want to I find that usually the default uh, settings are good I'm going to enable the cache the ones that are grayed out here are enabled with the pro version this is the free version uh, create a cache of the site we'll preload the home page that's okay. Don't show cache version for logged in users. No point doing that really. We don't want to show the cache version for desktop to mobile users. Every time you post a new page or a post that will include a product, you want it to clear the cache and you can always do that manually too. Clear all the cache. Same with that one and you can decrease the size of the page by minifying the HTML code that's a good idea too and the CSS and it can combine all the CSS files there which will further reduce it and the JavaScript files gzip files from your server browser caching that's what I was talking about earlier reduce page load time for re re repeat visitors so if they've got it once it will stay in the cache of their browser and load so much faster the next time um, you can remove emojis if you want to there I'm gonna leave that one unchecked so I don't mind having those language is English that's absolutely fine so that'll work for me and you can delete the cache at any time here if you upload a product or a page you're not sure just delete the cache and it'll free it all up for you image optimization I'm pretty sure that's only available in the pro version yet as are these other features you can exclude pages if you need to here I've never actually bothered using this but you can if you want to if you want to use a CDN such as Cloudflare I use Cloudflare again it's a free service you can get a free SSL for your site with Cloudflare um, you can use do so here and the database is only available with the previous version so we're good to go like I say just check any ones that you feel are appropriate to you if something isn't working correctly you can come back in and uncheck them so we've submitted that we're good to go and like I say that will just speed up the load time it caches things especially for people that come come back and there's a little button at the top now you can clear all the cache or you can clear the cache for the minified CSS and JavaScript on its own there. So there it is. You won't see any particular difference right now. But when your visitors visit, it will load faster for them. So there you go. There's another little quick tip about speeding up and optimizing your site. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. 
have a great day.